What's up, Bean Nation? Today, Peregrine Nation is bringing you a Christmas cookie spectacular. We're doing a different type of video. We're taking you on a Christmas cookie tour around the world. We're going to be baking four different cookies from around the world that are made at Christmas time to bring you an international taste of Christmas. We're gonna have cookies from Asia, Africa, Australia. I don't even know where we're going. You may know that Zach and I aren't together for the holidays this year. I'm here in Maryland, and he's in Texas. For the cookies that I have chosen, I'm going to Australia and Africa. I'll be making two cookies, one from Greece and one from India. In Australia, we're gonna have White Christmas, which is like some Rice Krispie treat with red and green in it. I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. And then in Africa, we're gonna have Bina Wafers. Let's begin. For Australian White Christmas, we have Rice Krispies, dried cranberries, candied cherries, coconut oil, shredded coconut, and white chocolate. <laughs> like a snowman. So first, we are going to melt the coconut oil and the white chocolate chips so that we can mix them with the Rice Krispies. So now you're gonna put in three cups of white chocolate chips. You can do it, you only have two hands. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then you're gonna stir. All right, now we have all our ingredients ready and I'm gonna chop these cherries, which is what they're called, but they look like candy. So this is gonna bring the green, and then the cranberries are the red, and then the white is a coconut to make a white Christmas, which doesn't happen in Australia. This dessert is said to come from Spain and Italy, because like most cookies, they originated in Europe, but no one actually knows the origin. Okay. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> it tastes like medicine! Oh god, okay. I'm not gonna put that much in there then. It smells like medicine. Ugh. Action! All right, and now our chocolate has cooled off a little bit, and we're gonna add everything, which there aren't that many ingredients. Nice crispy treats, these medicine cherries. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's what makes it green. Dried cranberries and coconut. You're supposed to stir it together. Oh wow, it's actually coming out really nicely. All right, now you put it in the pan that has more coconut oil in it. And we're just gonna pop this in the fridge for two hours. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird. But that's what cooking internationally is. You don't know what you're doing and hopefully it turns out right. And now it's time to put the white Christmas in the fridge. Let's see what Leah's doing. So I'm making Greek Mellow Macarona, which is like a honey soaked olive oil, orange, cinnamon clove type cookie. And Indian, from India, Kokols, which I'm assuming is kind of gonna turn out like a donut, like a donut hole, almost. So for the Kokols, we'll be using all-purpose flour, semolina flour, eggs, sugar, ghee, coconut milk, salt, and cardamom. The first step is to soak the semolina flour in coconut milk for two hours. Set a timer. Okay, so while the semolina flour is resting with the coconut milk, we're gonna start on our Greek cookie, Mellow Macarona. And the first step is to make the syrup. You add 300 grams of water, 600 grams of sugar, a ton of sugar, two cinnamon sticks, three whole clove, an orange cut in half, and 180 grams of honey. For the Mellow Macarona cookie, we're using all-purpose flour, semolina flour, baking powder, honey, baking soda, vanilla, water, fresh orange juice, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg, sugar, and olive oil, and vegetable oil. So we added the flour, semolina flour, and baking powder, and then we blend with the whisk. Orange juice, sugar, and spices. Just like won't incorporate. Hmm, looks chunky. To add the baking soda to this mixture and whisk it really quickly for five to 10 seconds. Mm. Oh! Oh my! Oh. Science! Oh my gosh. Honey, 125 grams of oil. Olive oil. Before we put these cookies together, we're gonna set the temperature to 180 Celsius, which is like 350 Fahrenheit. We add our honey, orange juice, oil mixture, and this is going to make a soft Dough. That gave me like the complicated ones. When what, did, were, what did he do? He did really easy ones. I don't think it was on purpose. I didn't realize both of them were gonna be like kneading out dough. That stinker. Oh, very oily. Okay, 
Now it's at a soft dough, so I think like, I think it's supposed to be a little bit oily because this is a cookie. So I think we're gonna just call that good. It said to make it the size of like a small egg. Now that we have our mellow macaroni all rolled out, we're gonna put them in the oven for 20 minutes, which is quite long for a cookie. It's not a traditional cookie recipe that you'd find in the United States, but it is certainly traditional to Greece. Now that we have them in the oven, we're gonna go see what Zach's doing. Okay, so we've had these white Christmases in the fridge for two hours. We're going to chop them into squares. It's actually very like rock solid. Aw, Christmassy, red and white. Yeah, yum. All right, and now we're going from Australia to Africa. Time to make some Binny wafers. We're gonna start by toasting sesame seeds, which are originally from East Africa, where this dish originated in. And sesame seeds are super popular in all parts of the Middle East, Eastern Africa. I've never toasted sesame seeds before, but apparently you're supposed to put them in the oven for 10 minutes, and if you toast them too much, they supposedly catch on fire. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Check our, okay, they didn't catch on fire. That's great. Do you hear that? They're popping. It's like popcorn. So now we have some flour and baking powder, vanilla, a stick of butter, light brown sugar, and an egg. First thing we're gonna do is put this butter in the microwave to soften it a little bit because I forgot to take it out early. All right, now we're putting our brown sugar in with our butter. This is enough brown sugar to make caramel. Add the egg. We add in our egg, that's slightly beaten, and our vanilla. And then the flour and the baking soda. And now we have all our ingredients in the pot. And they are not burnt. I am very happy about that. We actually have been away first when we were in Charleston which wasn't that long ago, and they were one of our favorite cookies in the city because they taste like nothing else we've ever had. Wow, that is like half seed to batter ratio. Cream. Is it better than green cherries? Mm-hmm. And the seeds are kind of crunchy, so it makes it good. So we lined the baking sheet with foil and coconut oil. And now we're gonna take a half teaspoon and scoop it. They're so sticky. All right, now Caroline's put these little pieces of dough on the pan, kind of pop them in the oven for five to eight minutes. And now let's see what they look like. Very interesting, very flat cookies. Now we take them out and they're supposed to cool for five minutes. So for the chocolate drizzle, we are going to melt some chocolate chips and coconut oil so that we can drizzle over the top of the cookies. Just clean. <laughs> You're just gonna drizzle on the whole pan. Yep. So while the cookies are still hot, you put them in this honey syrup we made in the very beginning. The syrup has gone cold, but then you just let these hot cookies soak in the syrup for like 10 seconds. These smell amazing, by the way. You can't smell them, but they smell like clove and cinnamon and orange. These are gonna be so good. I did that wrong. I hate that little dangly thing. Ooh. Got it. Oh. Two. I think I need a bigger bowl for this. All right, I think this is as far as I can go in this bowl. I think we're gonna have to turn it out. Ooh. If it's too dry, then they're gonna burst when you fry them. I think I'm gonna stop, because I'm out of breath. Cover with a damp paper towel, and we're gonna let this rest for an hour. I don't know about this. It seems really hard. We'll see how this goes. So, I'm not sure 
if this is what we wanted. The dough is very dense, but I think it's gonna turn out fine. I mean, I've never done this before, and that's kind of the beauty of trying something new. It's like, you have an expectation of what it's gonna be, and it can be something completely different, and I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. So I have rolled out the dough into little balls, and what you're supposed to do is spread it out on the back of a fork, and then, let me do this. I'm messing this up so bad, and then kind of like roll it so that the fork indentation comes off on it, but it's not working. So I think we're just gonna like pop them in, kind of like as is, and see what happens. Right, Vanna? Right. Woo! <laughs> okay. Also, I've never fried anything in my life, so my mom was like, what did I put on? So it's getting there. I just have no idea what they're supposed to look like. So this is the end result. I don't know if they're supposed to look like that. And they smell really good. <sighs> and we have made our pastries from around the world. This one's from Africa. Australia, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Australia anyways. Okay, let's try yours first. White Christmas, coconut, these cherries. Cheers. Cheers. That is um, Wow. Very rich, lots of white chocolate. Very sweet. I'm not a white chocolate fan, but the flaky coconut is really good. Mm -hmm. It gives it a lot more texture than I thought. And the cranberries, ooh, I just got. Me too. At the very end, it's like when all the chocolate melts, the cranberry comes out. And, it's and that really kind of helps. Out. Yeah, because it like it's very sweet at first, and you're like, ooh, white chocolate, and then the cranberry's like kind of tart, so yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, now time for these spinner wafers. I've been to Charleston, so I know how these are supposed to taste, but Caroline has that. There's a little in thin. Ooh. Toasty. Coffee. You can taste the toasty. Yeah, you can. It's not burnt, like I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Really nervous about that. And the coconut and the chocolate. Mm. That's a very different dimension. It's sweet. Very sesame, toffee, chocolate. These are good. What's your favorite out of both of them? These. And you can't really, I was worried that the sesame seeds would be like crunchy, but like they're they're soft. So it's really good. These textures are really foreign to the American palate. Mm -hmm. Alright. Happy holidays from us. Now let's see what Leah's doing. So I was saying that. Oh, sorry. Happy holidays from us. Now let's see what Leah's doing. Do you want to do this taste test with me? <laughs> sit. 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 Ah, uh, honey. Oh. <laughs> Come over here. Come sit right here. Okay, right there. So Kevin and I are gonna try these international sweets. First, we're gonna try the Mela Macarena from Greece. I probably butchered that in pronunciation. Strong honey flavor, very dense and moist. You wanna try this? Mmm, that's a winner. Mmm, come over here. Do you like it? Yeah? He likes it. The feeling this turned out super different. I probably baked it, cooked it, rolled it, everything. I think, I think I did wrong. So, given the fact that I probably butchered this recipe, I did taste pretty good. It's very dense. It has that a very slight cardamom flavor, which I love. But yeah, I think overall this is a really big success. The cocos are like super dense, nothing like a donut. But overall, I mean, hey, when you don't know what you're doing. Right? <laughs> I'm like a football player. <laughs> what they take the loop. It is a heterogeneous mixture rather than a homogeneous mixture, which you would want. Oh gosh, science with Brenna. Mm -hmm. What's up, P Nation? <laughs> oh my gosh. Brand. Small town, East Texas. East Texas. It's <laughs> Ghirardelli dark chocolate.
Welcome to Marshall, Texas. 